video, you'll learn the difference between Travis picking the pattern and Travis picking the style. Many people confuse the two, believing that if you can play the Travis picking pattern on guitar, then you can Travis pick. But this isn't actually true. Travis picking is a lot more than just a finger picking pattern. Hi, this is Simon Candy from AcousticGuitarLessonsOnline.net, and in this lesson, you learn the Travis picking pattern and examples of it being used in songs. This finger picking pattern is arguably the most useful pattern you will ever learn. However, it is not Travis picking per se. By contrast, I will also show you what Travis picking the style involves, including melody components being played on the higher strings of the guitar and the use of a thumb pick for the authentic Travis picking sound. So let's get into it. Okay, so Travis picking the pattern versus the style and how they are not really one and the same. Of course, they're related. So let's look at the pattern first. So first off, there is a, a video on my channel that goes into Travis picking the pattern in way more detail than what I'll do here. So that'll be linked in the right top hand corner of this video. So do check that video out. If uh, there's a couple of videos actually that I'll link to there that are all about the Travis picking the pattern. So if you want to learn it and you don't know it, they're the videos to check out. But let's just have a look at it briefly here. So let's say I have a G chord, okay? And Travis picking the pattern, right? It's It comes from Travis picking um, and it's infiltrated its way into contemporary music, if you like, and you hear it in thousands of finger picking songs. So as I said, it's arguably the most useful uh, pattern you'll ever learn in the world of finger picking guitar because you'll use it that often. But let's have a look. Travis picking the pattern. So basically what happens in a nutshell is your thumb is going to play a consistent bass pattern on the beat, always on the beat. So if I've got a G chord, I could play the um, bass pattern 6-4, 6-4, 6-4. The, the numbers I'm saying there are referring to the strings I'm plucking. The sixth string, the fourth, the sixth, the fourth. Okay, and we call that a 6-4, 6-4 bass pattern. All right, so it's always on the beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, as my thumb does that, my fingers play various patterns on the higher strings, any sort of pattern that you want, as long as um, the thumb is consistent on the beat. So I might go one, two, and three, and four. 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 So notice the bass was on the beat the whole time, and then I had a pattern going with some of my fingers on the higher three strings. That is an, a Travis picking pattern. I could have done this. So that's the Travis picking pattern. If I, let's say I have a C chord, right? Same thing. Now, C is, G was a root six chord, right? Open chord, but the root notes on the sixth string. C is a root five chord with the root note on the fifth string. So the pattern that I might use there, as far as the thumb is concerned, and the bass is five, four, five, four, five, four, five, four, right? And that would be on the beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, Four. And then my fingers would play combinations of notes on the higher strings. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Okay, that type of thing. And there are, you know, other patterns that you can do. Um, for example, on the C, you might go five, four, six, four, five, four, six, four, and pick patterns for a little bit more movement in the bass. Okay, that's Travis picking the pattern. For more detail on that, check out the videos linked in the top right hand corner of this of this video. It can be heard in lots and lots of songs and it becomes something that you can just ad lib with and sound like the song that you're trying to play basically. So for example, John Denver's, uh, what is it called? Country Rose is an example of a song that uses Travis picking something like this.
now, does it do exactly that pattern? I don't, I've never learned the song. I just know it's got the Travis Picking style. So if someone said, hey, let's play, um, you know, Country Roads. Well, okay, give me a chord chart. Let's go. And I can apply because I know it's Travis Picking. I can apply that pattern and it will sound like it, even if it's not exactly what's happening in the song. Okay, so another example would be Landslide, Fleetwood Mac, that uses the Travis Picking pattern. <laughs> like that so you know it, it's in many many songs but it's not Travis picking the style you you know it's just the pattern that's associated with the style of Travis picking so hopefully that gives you an idea of the pattern now what we'll do is we'll have a look at what is Travis picking the style so we can sort of compare okay so Travis picking the style now the first thing you're going to want to do is get a thumb pick okay if you want the the sound of Travis picking the style to differentiate just from the pattern, um, you want a thumb pick, okay? And you'll see why in a moment. But the thumb pick is just a pick that goes on the thumb, funny enough, and it sits below the, the nail of the thumb. Don't have it sort of towards the tip of the thumb, it won't, it'll, it'll fly away. Um, have it down the below the nail of your thumb or thereabouts. And what that does is when you play that bass pattern that we were talking about before, um, you mute it and you get that sharper attack on the bass notes because you've got the thumb pick. So if I was playing this C chord as I was playing before, notice the difference there, right? You've got the sharper pick attack and you're muting the bass. Pretty much most Travis picking, when you're playing within the style of Travis picking, the bass will be muted. That's so that things you do on the higher strings will stand out. So that's, that's number one, okay? Thumb pick, muted bass, which does put your picking hand, your finger picking hand, on a slightly different angle when you're plucking the strings. So it will, might feel a little odd if you haven't done this before, but don't, if you want to get into Travis picking, don't divert from the thumb pick, okay? It really, it, it's use the thumb pick. You'll get used to it. It'll be like it just disappears after a short while because it'll just become second nature, even though it feels kind of odd at first, I'm sure, if you haven't used a thumb pick before. Another important component to Travis picking is melody okay so we're not just when we Travis pick in the style we're not just playing patterns okay for the most part we're actually playing melody on the higher strings and there's harmony as well so we're getting as a called melody approach we've got the bass we've got the melody on top bass on the bottom and in between we've got the harmony Okay, how many meaning the rest of the chord, you know, notes to harmonize with the melody. So I'm going to demonstrate here. I'm going to use a tune chord, um, or uh, what's it called? Um, I've been working on the railroad. That's it. Okay, so that tune, I'll just take, play a little excerpt of it. Okay, we'll break it down. So um, this is the tune. Okay, so that's an example of Travis picking. I've got bass muted with my thumb using the thumb pick, and I've got the melody and some harmony parts happening all at the same time. So there's a lot going on because it's more than just patterns being played on the higher strings, random patterns, which can sound great. We heard them in the context of a couple of songs before, but that's, as I say, that's not Travis picking. This is Travis picking here, okay, the style. So let's just briefly break down what is happening there. So as I said, I've got my bass. So I'll just take a little example of what I played there, right? So you've got a C chord and I'm using a five, four, six, four bass. And I'm using, of course, my thumb, thumb pick, muting it. And then I go to an F chord, and I'm going to play a 6-4 on the F, and then back to a 5-4-6-4 on the C. Then I stay on the C, 5-4-6-4 again. Then I get this D7, 5-4-6-4, and G7, and that's 6-4-6-4. So depending on the chord as to what bass pattern you play, Okay, root six, root five, and whether you, yeah, there's a couple of versions of bass patterns that you can use for either of those, but that's what I went with there. And then you've got a melody, and the melody is going something like this. A similar thing here. Okay, 
Now you've got to play that melody whilst keeping the bass going. That's the challenge, right? And often a step that's good to do here is to keep it very, very mechanical, meaning keep the melody pretty much on the beat, meaning it will happen with the bass. Then you can syncopate the melody and have it sort of separate from the bass a bit. So let me give you an example there. If I play now the melody with the bass, but keep the melody very straight on the beat, it'd sound like this. So that's the melody with the bass and you can sit there and you can plot it out and it takes time but you'll start to, to get it going and the thing is that the, the thumb starts to become automatic too. This is not really a video on Travis picking, there's, uh, there's a lot, you know, it, it, it's beyond the scope of the video to go right into the detail but in, a, in an essence that's what you're doing. There's just methods to, to it but, but certainly one of them is to, to keep the melody very straight. Once you've got that down, then you can start to kind of come in with some of those melody notes with the bass, yes, but also before and after the bass to syncopate it a bit. And that would sound like this. Okay, so notice I'm not hitting now. It sounds a little more musical, right? Because it's not just all straight down the guts. We're not, you know, we're not doing this. Instead, we're doing this. Okay, sure, some of the notes are still with the bass. They're not all going to be syncopated on and off the beats and so forth, but some are, and it, it adds more rhythmic interest. And then in between, you can be hitting, um, you know, parts of the chord, so you can harmonize, not necessarily every note, but some of the notes are going to be, you know, the role of the note will be the harmony. So on some of these notes, I'm hitting more of the chord in between the melody and the bass as well, which you can do, right? That sort of thing. Okay, adds a little bit more texture to what you're doing. So that is Travis picking in a nutshell. You've got the thumb pick to get the authentic bass sound. You've got the, and to separate, you know, to get more contrast between the bass and the melody parts. Um, you've got the thumb pick to give you that traditional sound, that sharper sound, sharper attack. Um, if I just use my thumb, it's a bit soft. Right, it's a little, it's like someone's pulled the volume down on the bass there. We really want to get, because the bass is probably the most important part of Travis picking. It's the driving force behind the whole style and the sound. If I was to take that chord progression and just apply the Travis picking pattern to it, then that'd be something like this. So you can hear that, you know, it, it's the pattern, but it's not the style. You don't have the melody in there and you don't have that real sharp definition between bass and melody parts and harmony parts. So hopefully that clears up a little bit what Travis picking the style is versus Travis picking the pattern. The pattern's extremely important to use. And if all you ever do is learn the pattern, fantastic. You'll get a lot of mileage out of it. But I can say that Travis picking is a great, the style is a great style to learn. So you might want to get into that as well. It takes a little bit of time. It's, it's, there's a bit going on, but um, it does get easier the more you do it. If you would like help with your finger picking, the kind of help that gets you results in the most direct, efficient, fun way possible, then check out the Ultimate Finger Picking Guitar Course, a complete system for finger picking acoustic guitar, so simple even a beginner can learn it. I've carefully designed this course to do all the heavy lifting for you as far as knowing exactly what to do, how to do it and when to do it in regard to mastering the art of finger picking guitar. All you have to do is follow the pathway I've laid out for you. In the Ultimate Finger Picking Guitar course, you will learn and master all the key concepts, methods, strategies, and techniques needed for finger picking. So you'll never put your guitar down in frustration again, thinking, how the hell do I do this? You will also discover the exact order in which to do things, avoiding the all too common mistakes most people make when learning to finger pick guitar, saving you precious time and frustration. 
Have your hand held every step of the way with the ultimate finger picking guitar course. It will take you from wherever you are at right now with your finger picking to where you would like to be. Enjoying every part of the process along the way. So click the link in the description below the video and check out the ultimate finger picking guitar course. Let me know in the comments section what acoustic guitar topics you would like to see covered in future videos. I read every comment and I would love to hear your suggestions. If you like this video then hit that like button and if you haven't already subscribe to the channel and of course hit the all important notification bell button so YouTube can tell you when I've released a new video. This is Simon Candy from AcousticGuitarLessonsOnline.net as always, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate your time and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.